will link the position to the position of the null object by creating two variables double x for the x value and double y for the y axis of the position here we will push the null object to the bottom so it won't affect the any expression based on the index factor and we'll update uh, the x of the text layer the result layer will update the x position or the x value by leaning again on the index factor so we'll go in the expression deep in the expression and we'll make it depending on the index factor so put index multiplied by 200 200 will be the gap between the between every layer or every new copy of the layer every time we copy layer we create a new copy it will be 200 pixel away from the layer before from the previous layer but the problem for better control now we want to create a new slider so this slider will have a variable uh, variable value so we rename it sep as separation and we'll add it as variable separation equal and we link it to the slider and here we'll add it as a multiplier for index minus y for sure and we'll add it as a multiplier in the x axis or the x value multiplied by the separator and once we duplicate the result with new letters and we can see that the, m the higher value with the slider the more distance will be between the letters in order to have better controls we'll divide the separation value by 100 and we'll try again to control it by the slider and we can see that we have a full control and it is with the and a smooth control of the gap between the letters after understanding the concept behind this idea so uh, I think it's time to go back to our letter bank and to work with that letter bank our alphabet so to build the same concept to do that we'll go inside the time remapping properties and we'll try to create the same concept or the same effect based on the source text to do that we have to copy this expression and we'll give it as a variable for example selector or selection maybe we'll use the letter better and we copy the expression so that means that the letter is the letter from the source text the first letter or the second or the, th the chosen letter from the first from the source text as an input and after that we'll build the big conditions if that variable letter equal for example a in the time remapping will go and show the first minute that means time plus one minute that means time plus one multiplied by 60 time plus 1 multiplied by 60 between parentheses we'll try, try to write this expression in one line in one whole line so we can copy and paste and after that any modification will be easy so visually it will be easy to update else if but I will copy all of this and paste it 26 times and I will start updating else if letter equal equal B that means 2 C that means 3 D that means time plus 4 multiplied by 60 and so on
at the end else if nothing of these none of these condition is true that means we'll have a blank so we'll send the player to read 100 multiplied by 60 that means black and empty so it will be space any other character different than the character that we have will be shown as black to try this expression we'll try to duplicate for now we'll place those letters manually and we'll see if our expression is working as you can see everything is working working perfectly if you remember we worked on the position by default so what we'll do now we'll copy the position from the result layer that we did before and we paste it in the position property in our layers created from the letter bank and as you can see everything is working working perfectly and uh, we can update the distance or the gap between the letters based on that slider as you can see here everything is working like a charm it's time to create that nice delay effect between the letters so they are revealing sequentially to do that we create a new slider on the null object we rename it delay we will add it as a new variable inside our composition but as you can see we we'll lean on this gap between uh, between all the letters or before any letter so to do that we'll add a new variable a delay variable from the null object here we write delay equal and we'll link it to the slider divided by 100 as I'm expecting it will be higher value so we divide it by 100 and I will add it as a delay so every time I will start minus I will start my composition before the time before the one minute or just before the two minutes so every composition will start for for example the first layer will start at one minute the second layer will start for example the letter B for example it will start before so it will be delay multiplied by index so the second layer will be delayed will have the effect as we'll simulate a delay for the layer the second layer it will be delayed and the third it will be later the fourth will be late and the last layer will be the latest layer we'll add this uh, update to every line and after that we'll create we'll duplicate all the layers and we can see the result if we update the slider with higher value we can see that those letters are revealing sequentially we can add some nice effects or sweet animations a sweet look so we'll pre-compose all the letters and we'll duplicate them let's duplicate that composition and we generate fill with an orange color we go to the starting and we delay it a little bit so we have two delayed layers maybe we can switch them we we'll start with the orange the first it will be better the delay will be three frames or four frames not too much we'll try it at one minute yes it's, this is better we duplicate it maybe the first layer will be white after that we have the orange and after that we have the red let's try the effect now at one minute we have the a letter yes that's an amazing That's all for today, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and don't forget to check for the ready solutions in the link down in the description. See you, bye! By the way, I used the same technique to create this surprise, the only and fully animated Qatar 2022 World Cup font. 
a fully dynamic and smart text generator with the extending T as you can see in the sample. Get the Mogart file or all the files from the link in the description.